Oh my goodness me! Huh? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking onto this video. I am Jennifer Glatzofer, a musical theatre performer, a voice teacher, and today I am finally reacting and analysing another Dimash song. This has been hugely requested, so thank you very much to each and every one of you who has written in the comments below with this suggestion. I will be reacting to and analysing Dimash singing SOS at Slavic Bazaar. This is the 2018 performance and I believe this is his most popular song that people first react to. Yes, I react to opera too, but now I am obviously super excited to listen to this. Let's just jump straight into it and see what surprises lie ahead. Обладатель Гран-при международного конкурса исполнителей эстрадной песни Витебск 2015 Димаш Кудайберген, Казахстан. I really feel emotional. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so we started with a breath-like tone, an aspirate onset. If I just go back to the beginning, those first few uh, phrases, those lines, quite breathy. <laughs> And that vibrato as well, really quite uh, wide. It's almost as if the vocal folds aren't wanting to touch, they're just touching the right amount to get those vibrations across and the sound actually to be heard, but otherwise it's very, very vulnerable at that stage, and especially what they're saying. I love, I love that you can see the writing at the bottom as well, so <laughs> that's why I was getting emotional as well. Oh. What was nice as well is that we could hear a little bit more of a connection, a connected vocal fold um, movement when we heard the word SOS and that's the title as well. So that just is quite uh, pleasing to the ear that the title of the song is the first time we hear that connection. That was cool. And then we get a really light quality. We're still, we're beautifully in our mix there. The mix doesn't have to be this, you know, belted mix. Yes, that is a type of mix, but this, uh, the mix is a blend of our chest and our head voice. And here we are way into our head voice, but we've got that cry element just to bring us down a little bit. Whew. I love that transition as well that Dimash does from higher pitch, lovely and light sounding up here, and then we drop down to a lower pitch, but listen and watch even how still he is. And we're just letting this do all the work. Our larynx, our vocal folds find that position without manipulating anything. <laughs> That tongue position as well. Literally so relaxed. Oh. That space as well was really lovely. We're just, like I said, we're just letting, we're not, the higher or the lower we go from where our range, where we typically speak, the higher or lower we go, more obstacles want to come our way because it's further away from what we're used to. Obviously, Damash is used to singing everywhere. So it seems, and you know, he's worked his voice in all these areas. So things come a lot more natural to him, but he has had to work for it to be so smooth and be so easy and effortless to watch. But the further we go away, the more obstacles come into play. So if we just strip everything back and remember, open our mouth, keep relaxed, 
let this do all the work rather than kind of get in the way of our own uh, voices, then we're allowing that freedom just to happen. Oh my goodness me! Wow. So we've heard a lighter kind of sound from Dimash and just really going up to our head voice, letting a lighter mix happen as we transition back down, but definitely hitting our head voice in softer kind of areas. Here, we have got great connection. The twang is really playing. Look at that position of the neck as well. Let's just listen to that again because that was spectacular. What's also nice to see is this whole build up after that lovely high note is that we are building up. We're going into that connection as well. We've got a great chest voice connection that will help us go up. And we've got some cry elements happening as well, which is great. Softening up. Double this. This voice, <laughs> what is going on? Just shock after shock after shock. Thank you for the suggestion. I just want to quickly point out as well, I love what he's doing with his arm movements. They're kind of uh, replicating what he's doing with his voice. They're really nice and floaty. And as we're going higher, we go up here and then we drop down. I do this all the time with my hands, but like it's, yes, it's really lovely to see that pattern of voice, but it's also a form of anchoring because we're using our muscles, <laughs> my armpit, we're using our muscles to uh, engage that support from our core. And then we are just following that voice as well with our hands. It's really lovely. That top note, insane. And the reason why it's so easy and effortless and like for us to listen to, and we're not going you know, the reason why it's so lovely to hear is because we're going into this tiny space and like we said, you know, we're setting this whole song up, limiting any sort of obstacles. We're keeping everything free, letting the vocal folds thin out as we go higher into this small space and it just floats up there. Let's listen to that again. It starts. There's so much emotion. Oh. I need to listen to that again. <laughs> They've literally just gone, here, here's a song 
Um, yeah, just do the best you can. Just show us a little bit of what you can do. Now I'm gonna show you everything. <laughs> Each time we hear a phrase, it's completely different. Like, yeah, we go back to the beginning, that breath-like aspirate onset tone and quality. Then when we hit those high notes before we had it in our head voice, now we're doing that exact same thing, adding so much twang. Oh, listen. That's sad. Oh no. <laughs> I, uh, I don't have my glasses on, that's why I'm like, <laughs> all the lyrics. Wow! Even in that phrase alone, we went from such twang, uh, so much connection from our chest as well to keep it a little bit speech quality, even though we're in this light, small space up here. Then we flipped and went into a bit more operatic, dropping that larynx ever so slightly, so we're losing a little bit of that contemporary style and going a little bit more classical with our open throat. Then I completely forgot because I was just mesmerized. <laughs> All those twang exercises here, lovely. Letting it go up there. That run as well, so beautiful. And we're letting that mic go up here as well, just to go because we're loud. <laughs> we're all that twang and that annoying kind of sound that he's not producing, but in those exercises, to get that up there, we're getting that twang, nay, 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 all those nay, nya, nya, all those exercises to get us lifted. That's what we're doing. And that is a loud sound. It's not our chest voice pulling up there. And when we flip into that operatic sound, We've got all this lovely anchoring happening, that throat, he's not doing anything, it's just happening. Oh. So good. And we're using that same quality to keep going. And look how close he is now. Circle back to our breath-like quality. I love his hand movements. <laughs> so good. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I am not surprised that I am wowed. Um, yeah, wow. <laughs> What to take from this reaction? Uh, keep being you. Show us what you got. Your voice holds a lot of sounds uh, that we are unaware of sometimes. So explore that voice, explore that sound. I love how chill and effortless Dimash makes it seem. Whenever we watch him saying, it's just like, yeah, he's got this. We know he does. Like, he's clearly so well trained. Um, and it's, I, I, I am in awe and quite frankly, speechless. <laughs> Thank you for being here with me today. If you have any other suggestions, do let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to add them to the list. If you did enjoy this video, do hit that subscribe button, the bell button and the thumbs up button to be notified anytime I post. And I shall see you very soon for another video.